In this video, I'm going to be going over my $20,000 Robinhood dividend portfolio. And this is actually going to be the first update to this portfolio since I created a portfolio a few weeks ago. And I'm pretty excited to share that there has already been some great growth just in the past few weeks within this portfolio. I have gone into this portfolio and shaken up some different position sizes, bought some different securities, decided not to buy any more of certain securities. And I'm going to go through all of that in this video. And also, probably most importantly, I'm going to talk about how this portfolio is already generating over $50 a month completely passively just just in dividend income. If you haven't met already, my name is Anthony McLemore. I like to make videos about personal finance, investing, and making money online. And if you wanna make a little bit of money online today, the easiest way to do that is to use the link in the description below to sign up to Weeble where you will get two free stocks just for signing up and depositing $100. I plan on doing a pretty cool video in the future going over exactly how many free stocks I got from Weeble because they do give you some high value stocks sometimes. However, to get right into the focus of this video, let's jump right into this Robinhood portfolio. So as of today recording this video, my portfolio is valued at $20,334.61. Now, I believe when I left off in the last episode, we were just above $20,000 because I had just created the portfolio and started buying all the stocks in it. So we have seen some decent growth, which is pretty cool, especially with the shaky month we've seen in the market over the past month. So on the day, the market hasn't been moving all that crazy. In the past hour, we're up about $7 to $8. On the day, we actually down a little bit at down $73. On the week, it's more of the same. Early in the week, we were up $80. Then we saw a couple of red days in a row, and then we had some green days and now we're ending the week just a few dollars in the green so it has definitely been a little bit of a roller coaster however on the past month is where we see most of our growth and we are up 200 dollars on the past month which is great because we can truly see how just investing your money can make a couple hundred dollars if you are patient and you know what you're doing now the plan behind this portfolio is not to trade or to buy and sell by any means i plan on pretty much just letting this portfolio sit for the most part and maybe adding a couple hundred dollars into it here and there but i definitely won't be buying and selling actively in this portfolio at all and because this portfolio hasn't been open that long we can see that on a three month chart it's actually more of the same with me being up about 192 dollars on the one year chart i'm actually up 214 dollars and on the all-time chart is where i have a funny story and that is because back in college i actually used to use this robin hood portfolio as a day trading portfolio and needless to say your boy was not a good day trader at all and i ended up losing about a thousand dollars but to me that was just a price to pay for a lesson to say that i should be investing my money for the long term instead of trying to day trade different options and different stocks and things like that so if i would have actually left my money in robin hood i probably would be green on all-time chart by now but i took the money out and moved over to charles swab and i started to invest without recording on youtube but when i started wanting to make updates on youtube again i thought that robin hood would be the more aesthetically pleasing brokerage so that's what leads to me here on robin hood again but i think as this year goes on it is going to be a goal for me to get this portfolio in the green on the all-time chart as it may take a while but i'm sure we can get there eventually but the first thing i really want to dive into in this portfolio is the dividends that we have received or that we are going to receive in the near future just from holding these securities for about three weeks so if i go into my settings tab and look at dividends we can see that we have about 48 dollars worth of pending dividends just from two positions that i have in the portfolio one of the positions is voo which is a vanguard s p 500 etf and they're going to pay me one dollar and 26 cent per share when i own about 35 shares the next dividend that we're going to receive is from vong which is from the vanguard russell 1000 growth etf and they're going to pay us about 41 cent for each of the nine shares that i own and i think that that is extremely cool because that is just from two positions in the portfolio and that just gives me a couple extra dollars to reinvest and to hopefully grow this portfolio even bigger in the future but now let's get into the actual positions that i own and what i added to the portfolio since the last update and at the end i'm going to talk really quickly about what i plan to add to the portfolio in the future so looking at the portfolio it doesn't have a lot of positions in it at all it only has six stocks and one cryptocurrency so let's walk through each of these positions so in my first position it is a tech stock and i own 10 shares of apple with an average cost of 120 four dollars and 25 cents and a market value of about twelve hundred dollars apple is sitting at about six percent of my portfolio now and you can see that this is one of the few stocks that's actually in the red for me now with me being down about fifteen dollars on a day and about forty four dollars total so if we look at apple's chart on the three month chart we can see that apple's price has been steadily declining from a high of about 143 dollars in january to now trading at under 120 dollars now i believe that apple is a well-established company and that it will continue to do well in the future so i have been taking advantage of this drop in price by slow Slowly buying more positions into the company and if we look at my history in the past 30 days we can see that i have been buying apple at about 50 dollars increments whenever i have a little bit more buying power in the account and i plan on continuing to do this in the future as long as apple continues to sell off i will continue adding more to my portfolio and although i don't look at these analyst ratings from robin hood a whole lot we can see that apple is a 68 percent buy a 24.4 percent hold and a seven percent sell so as long as apple keeps declining i'm going to continue adding more to my portfolio but moving on to my next position this is actually a new position that i added 
added to the portfolio since the last update and that is my position in coca-cola so i don't own a ton of coca-cola i only own two shares at about fifty dollars and fifty six cents a share making this a half a percentage of my portfolio and on the day this is down about a dollar and total return is up about five dollars and i believe i bought this about a week or two ago if i look here i can see that i bought the two shares on march 11th and i'm recording this video on march the 30th i believe that coca-cola is a strong dividend paying company and every single one of the portfolios i hold i own some shares of coca-cola because they are so well established and i believe that they will continue to do well in the future if we look at the one year chart of coca-cola it does seem to be a little bit on the overpriced side meaning that it is nearing the one year high but because i don't plan on selling any of this coca-cola i just want to add two maybe three shares just to get my foot in the game on this portfolio and if we take a look at the dividend yield it is paying about three percent in dividend yield quarterly and right now the analyst rating for coca-cola says it's 67 percent a buy and 33 percent a hold i'm actually surprised that analysts say it's so heavily a buy because it does seem to be on the overpriced side but moving on to the next position in the portfolio this is another brand new position and this is my position in the read psec or prospect capital now i have been owning psecs for years and i've always owned it for about five to six dollars so owning it when it's near eight dollars does seem a little bit risky and i wouldn't necessarily recommend anyone else buy it at this point but i did go in and buy 50 shares with a psec at an average cost of seven dollar eighty cent a share with a market value of 387 dollars and we can see that psec now is about two percent of my portfolio so all time i'm only down about three dollars on this position and on the day i'm up about a dollar and fifty cent and the reason why i bought psec is because i'm trying to transition this portfolio more into a dividend portfolio just so i can give some creative commentary here on youtube and i love the monthly dividends that psec offers so if we look at the stats on Robinhood, we can see that there's about a nine percent annual dividend year for psec and this one actually doesn't have an analyst rating but i'm pretty sure it wouldn't be so much of a buy especially because it's so overpriced and then we go into my next position which is a partial position in tesla if we look at the three month chart on tesla we can see that it is very similar to apple meaning that it has been on a huge decline in the past three months from highs of about 880 dollars to now trading at about 636 dollars but i only have a partial position in tesla at about 0.2 shares with only a market value of 130 dollars so obviously this is not a huge position but i do plan on having at least two to five shares of tesla in the portfolio i am really heavily weighted in the tech industry right now so i do plan to diversify a little bit outside of the tech industry before i add any more to this tesla position but then we get into my largest position in the portfolio which is voo which is a vanguard s p 500 etf and if you haven't heard of this etf basically what it does is tries its best to track the s p 500 which consists of the biggest 500 companies in the united states but for this position we can see that i do have a pending dividend of 45 dollars and i own 35 shares at an average cost of 355 dollars per share which makes my market value at about 12.5 thousand dollars now in my last update i said that i wanted voo to be the sort of backbone of this portfolio and you can see that that is exactly what it is at about 63 percent of my overall portfolio the reason why i wanted such a large position in voo is because you don't get much more diverse than buying a total market index fund or an etf so with this one position i basically have a slice of the overall economy all of the major sectors with this one position so that's kind of why i feel a little bit more comfortable going with more tech heavy stocks outside of this position because i know that i do have a lot of diversity inherently built in with this position so with this position i am down 42 dollars on the day with a total return of 240 dollars and i have been slowly buying a little bit more into this position but i will buy a little bit less in the future as i continue to start buying some more individual stocks to balance things out but next in the portfolio i have an even more diverse etf with the vanguard russell 1000 growth etf and with this position i own 9.5 shares at 247 dollars per share with a market value of about 2300 dollars and this sits at about 11.5 percent of my total portfolio so between VONG and VOO, these two ETFs make up 75% of the portfolio. And I think that that's great because it puts less pressure on me to try to pick individual winning stocks when I could just buy a piece of the overall economy and just wait for time to do its thing. However, I do have one more really large individual stock position, and that is my one share of Amazon. So like Apple and Tesla, Amazon in the past three months hasn't been doing very well, down about 8% in the past three months, but I only own one share with an average cost of $3,100. And we can see that I am down $43 on this position with me being $19 down on the day. Now, I probably won't add much more to Amazon because I do think that this is a really large position at about 15% of my portfolio already. However, if we look at the analyst rating for Amazon, we can see that it is a 96% buy and a 4% hold and a 0% sell. So it may actually be a good idea to buy a little bit more of Amazon. But that pretty much wraps up my individual stock positions. If we go into my cryptocurrency position, I do own a little bit of crypto, not a ton at all. I own about 0.005% of a Bitcoin with an average cost of 51,000 and an equity of $300. Now this Bitcoin position is actually up $6 on a day and $37 or 14% all time. Now when I look at the three month chart for Bitcoin, it does seem to be approaching those all time highs, which I'm not too 
too comfortable with. However, if we do see a big dip where it gets down to $50,000 or even $45,000 again, I may add a couple more hundred dollars of Bitcoin into the portfolio. However, with all that being said, I think my plan moving forward is to try to make this portfolio more focused towards a dividend portfolio. And I want to keep growing that monthly dividend income to at least $1,000 one day. So now I believe total we're at about $25 per month, even though I made about $50 in this one month, I think we're right around $20 or $25. So the next major goal for this portfolio is to try to get it to $100 just in dividend income. And then we can work towards $250, $500 or $1,000. But I do want to see what this portfolio does without me adding a ton of money to it. So I may just let it sit and grow all on its own. However, with all that being said, if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like on this video for your boy and also hit that subscribe button as well if you like content like this. And before you leave, don't forget to get your two free stocks from Weeble by using the link in the description below. And also don't forget to have an amazing day. So the next update on this portfolio won't be for another two to maybe four weeks, but I will see you in another video on Monday, guys. Peace.